on with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. They say I got my pop's demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang thriving together. Your boy's striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and holding comments. Because I promise you I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. They ain't cut from the same thread like him. They don't study doing work to get ahead like him. They don't toss and turn in a bed like him. Because they don't love it. 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 I've been laid back so long, I'm trying to get turned. Searching my name, dog, that's how you get hurt. Being likable, I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we're on to week two of the NFL season. We got a good one on tap as it'll be the Huskies of Anchorage taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now the fourth year man, it's Cam Akers. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, this defense very strong in that victory from a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Quickly to Addison here. Charles Thursday night game. The teams probably say shrink the playbook so much. Is that correct? Cool? Right about that because just don't have the amount of time that you have in the week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. On the counter, this is Akers. And oh, he's just going to be short. Fourth and inches. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. here on first down. Leaves it for Petty. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up second down. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Now second and five. Right 
Now a man picked up on draft night this year, DeAndre Swift. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here now, third and a yard. Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. The Eagles are 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and move some things up. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. When you look at this defense, they are number two in the NFL against the run right now, Charles. We know it's only week one, but the results look pretty good so far. The key is, can they do it week in and week out? Because right now, they're not awarding any championships or trophies after one week of performance. Got some nice young faces playing for them. Let's see if they can get this going. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Throwing his hurts. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watkins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Oh, first and ten at the 11. First and ten. Now the third-year man, here's Kenneth Gainwell. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys, let's keep it going. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Oh, 
On third down, Penny. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Rashad Penny, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the beat. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now they were winners in the season opener Sunday. Now they get the quick turnaround game here on Thursday night. But, CD, you say this is an ideal setup for them. Why? Well, it's just the way the schedule lines up because everyone's got to play a Thursday game, and that's because of competitive balance. So, let's face it, would you rather play week two when you're still relatively fresh and excited about the season? Or week 15 when you've had a season worth of bumps and bruises to factor in? And who knows what your record might be at that time as well. And he stopped it at the 25 after a game of five. Not the beat he displayed on that play because he saw it wasn't a land to completely break off a huge game. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. This now a third and four. To throw it as Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play that time on the catch and run. 32 yards. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned it into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. They go play action. Cousins looks again for T.J. Hawkinson, and he's got him again. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. space for their guys carrying the ball but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace him throw to the right held in by Addison six yards to pick up and that's a first down I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what the guy catching the ball he'll get all the credit but how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On play action, Cousins. And it's caught. Touchdown. C.J. Hale. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Huskies are within an extra point of tying up this ballgame. 
And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They go play action with Hurts. This is Smith to the ground. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Here's Swift. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. into the end zone. Elliott on for the extra point. And it's up. It's going to Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Play fake, Cousins. 
And that'll be incomplete. Boy, it took a shot as he went for a goal. It's going to go to the third down. This defense has passed his first two touch by fours and back-to-back incompletions. That was probably number 12 coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off the play fake, Cousins. Oh, and that is incomplete. He's unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And here's Rodgers on the return. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's Hurts to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum, and the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Following the interception, Cousins. That's caught downfield by Addison. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 28 yards. First down, So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. A give up the middle to Akers. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 21, here's second and three. They'll go again here with Akers. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll give this to Akers running right. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's second and one now from the seven. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. And it's caught. Touchdown, T.J. Hawkinson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Huskies are back within a couple of the lead. Now for the point after. And this time he gets it to go as it is up and good. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. But they'll run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Play action. Here's Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there but it'll be third down well you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend old momentum he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now and if you don't convert here guess what he's gonna make the trek to the opposite side and all of a sudden you've got a battle on your hands on third down he'll drop to throw he's gonna look deep for Watkins and this throw will be intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And up. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. On the handoff, it's Akers. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter. It's still right now as the clock continues to run. for the end of the
the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Second down, here's Hurts. He's got Watkins on the out route. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On second down, Swift. There he goes left side. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown. Stretch out their lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Elliott now to add the extra point. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. now at the line ready for their next drive a first down throw for Cousins he gets it to Addison and they're able to get this one across the 35 that's a good way to start the drive 17 yards and a first down you can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there it looks like a simple pitch and catch but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. This will be stacked about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Cousins now. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for the first play. But instead, it stayed down. zone you have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there after the incompletion here now third and two Six-yard punt, and it will be first and ten as they take over. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. 97 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It was Daniil Hunter to make the play in the backfield. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll set up a throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people and bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Take it at the 37. Now a hit and a loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds his way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive.
Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Going right back to Akers. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown! Cam Akers, 53 yards. And the Huskies have cut the lead back down to two. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early. Great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. They'll roll up, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Daniil Hunter, his second sack of the night. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taken right around the 44. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field. Cousins on first down. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route... Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he'll snag about five yards down in the 32. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. 
All even as we get ready to start the fourth. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. Play action now, Cousins. Making the catch, this is the tight end, Oliver. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Akers, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Cousins. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, the adjustment that was made. You had a blazing guy. The closing speed is the key. When you have a guy that fast and he can close at the end of a play and knock it away, that's a big deal. We just saw him do it right there. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Akers. They try and run. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Cam Akers. His second touchdown of the night. And the Huskies have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now is second and ten. Hurts. Going across the middle and Goddard's got it. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First and ten, it's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
Now Hurts changing up the play. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end down. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. We spent a lot of time talking about what's going on on the field. How about off the field with the evaluation? And they spent a lot of time saying, we've got to get a rookie in here who has big playability. And that's exactly what we're seeing here early in his career. Drafted him in the spring. Here he is early in the fall making an impact. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Play action. Cousins. This will be caught just inside the 10. Touchdown! TJ Hawkinson with his second touchdown of the night. And the Huskies are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. It's a run with Akers. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And now an audible here into something else. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. Throwing his hurts. Flush in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. All right, they're gonna try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Oh, they're changing this at the line. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Oh, hit as 
as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And now, boy, the ball is going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. Well, this is a nice little gift wrap situation as they take over first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Now an end around as Cousins will just pop this forward. And he will score. It's a touchdown. Justin Jefferson from eight yards out. And the Huskies are on their way to a 2-0 start. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Hurts his throw, brought in by Brown. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Second and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. They go play action with Hertz. And 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 15 yard line. But first down, Hurts escaping the pressure right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. This has been a rough one, to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... They've really been put through the ringer in this one. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be intercepted. Makai Blackman's got it. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And, and now it appears that the referee's been buzzed. And we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. He's on his way. And all the way in for the touchdown. Cam Akers, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Huskies are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will bump the lead up to 26. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return from his end zone, Rodgers. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace. He's got a man complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Back to throw now on first down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, you actually lose such a you to make a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So despite the huge deficit, they're going to keep fighting. Here comes the onside kick. This is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the 